he had dropped off the tour originally had a couple of years trying to get back on and spent quite a bit of that time working in the snooker club and uh, he said it did in the world of good because uh, he introduced him to the world of work and with all the discipline that comes from that having to be at work at a certain time and do a certain amount of hours and he said it gave him a different perspective rather than just playing snooker Great pot. I just thought he might tear that on. Well, professional sport, David, is obviously repetition, isn't it? And you have to set yourself a schedule and stick to it. You don't just pick up a cue or a racket or whatever and become world champion. You, you, you know, it doesn't matter how much talent you've got, you still have to work at it. Well, that was a great opening red there for Michael. I just wonder whether that could be the red to get in to win frame a match. This guy's silly on a high at the moment. He's left that a little bit short. He might just use the pack to come back for the black here. 16. Well, he could run through. That's an option. Screwing back. Empty. Just it left it a little bit awkward over this red. I think they've enjoyed this match as we have, actually. It's been quite entertaining, but expecting Kieran to come back at Michael a little bit. That hasn't quite happened. Well, this, again, it's awkward. It's, it's missable from there. Yes, he, he doesn't like it. Easier for a left-hander. He's overdone it. He's overcut it. Didn't like it at all. My court, 17. Yeah, it was just awkward queuing. Awkward bridging. So, uh, unable to make too much from that. Kieran not able to take advantage. That was a great chance. I think he's thought about taking this red on down the cushion because he knows that that's probably the only one he can leave. He can play the red up and down if he wants. the safety in the end but I don't think that's too clever because he could find himself in trouble after this shot let's give him Kieran the shot off this red
could shot that for Michael because he's got Kieran wrong sided here. It's not uh, obvious that there's a path back to the Bork area. Might be playing dead weight onto a red. Well, it could get interesting now. The black is still available if anybody gets in. It is perilously close. And the reds now just starting to gather round it. Yes, it's still potable if you get the white to the top cushion. on the thick side it's not bad now though that's a great shot and settle for that as well well Karen's got to be careful here because he's pushing a red towards this corner with this safety shot Good snooker. I think uh, Michael can see the edge of one. I think the word for this is cagey. It's about to get cagey by the looks of things. Well, it's difficult to get on the black now. And that's a great shot from Kurt.
was close, but uh, not quite. <laughs> no cigar then, as Joe says. <laughs> There was a time when you could you could smoke a cigar in the arena, but they're, they're long gone. This looks good. Mm. That's a great shot. Might take a little bit of time for this frame to unfold here. doing <laughs> well there's only 17 points on the board here I think it, within a few shots I think these two boys should look at each other and say let's have a re because this is not going anywhere really especially now well certainly if the reds continue to gather as you say around the black then it's not going to go anywhere at all no. and the way the last few shots have gone push those reds toward that corner. I think they should probably look at each other and say, let's set them up again. Obviously, the thing is, if, if the blacks are nudged in the pocket, it does make the difference. free ball. <coughs> free ball. So referee Zengwelli has uh, nominated a free ball so he can take yeah, the yellow here as a red. Can't get on the black though. <laughs> that would be some shot, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> where we were. <laughs> well, wow, come on lads, let's have a re -rack. Wow. Completely lost uh, position. thing here is to try and get Kieran in such a position that he might force him into pushing the black into the pocket. He's nominated the green. Michael the one. Well, I think he could have made better of that. I and mean, he didn't really think about that. He's just pushed the white to the back cushion. You know, when you're playing at this level, you have to try and put your opponents in, in such difficulty and make it completely, well, a position not to be able to play out safety. But uh, Michael didn't, well, he's sitting down there thinking about that. Well, he, he should have made more of that, really. There is a path back to the bulk here, if one of these reds near the top cushion. Should have really prevented him from doing that. Oh, OK, he's got the knuckle, but there's no damage done. Mm. 
Well, let's be honest, unless the black is knocked in, this frame is going nowhere. I'm sure our referee Zheng Weli will be thinking about that within a few shots. And now, don't clip off the red here, Kieran, and not the black in. Well, I think the audience here could pop out, have a three course meal, come back, and he'd still be here. This is going nowhere, really. It should be called a re rack. It's interesting, but it's a stalemate. He's played a good shot there. <laughs> it was a famous match at the Crucible years ago where Willie Thorne was playing Andy Hicks. He was something like 50 points in front, Willie, and the referee on that occasion insisted on the re rack. He said he got three shots each and then was setting him up again. Hello. <laughs> Crowd are enjoying this. It's kind of something a bit different. <coughs> well, now it could get interesting, actually. Especially if a red, there's our referee, Zhang Welly. He's thinking, well, he's, he's looking at the two boys thinking, well, what do you want to do? If a red goes very close to the black in the next couple of shots, then it would get really interesting. But at the moment, there's no danger of really being knocked in. Just push the white down the side cushion behind the blue. Well, I guess the more points that he scores, the less likely he's going to want to re-rack. Well, the problem now is he could be in real trouble, uh, Michael, because Kieran pots this red, lays a good snooker. Be all about uh, weight. Get onto this red. It's not difficult to hit, of course. Well, you've got to get the red first. And he now might be in trouble.
Tell you, you know what I would do here, David? I think I would gently knock that black into the pocket. There's a chance here that, uh, hmm, don't know. You might not leave anything on. Well, certainly I open up the game. I don't think you'd fancy the clearance from here, would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking, well, if the, the back's not right on the corner, it'll need a double kiss, but just gently knock it in. Ah, now it might happen. I suppose it's not gamesmanship, it's just trying to open up the game. Mind you, from Kevin's point of view, he doesn't want that, of course, because he's 4-1 behind. Got to be careful now, because that red is set on to the black to knock it in. Does he put it back? Or does he let him play from there? Back we go. Of course, if he does the same again, he'll then be warned. He's going to hit it a third time. trying to find it on a screen but I don't think it's going to appear I think he's right I don't think it was that close to the cushion originally so second attempt oh lovely shot Cushion first, just push into those two reds. Well, he's got to be careful here. If he ever hits this, this black will be in. <laughs> OK, then, fine. What do we know? He's like sort of weird high-stakes snooker. Clever. Well, it's sort of grimly enjoyable, but it can't go on forever. There's a final on Sunday. What's the record for the longest frame, Nose? It was set uh, last season by Dominic Dale and Dave Harold. I think it's 97 minutes. Got a while to go yet, then. They're doing their best. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin knows one more mistake from his point of view, i.e. if he knocks the black in, could be his last. Worst case scenario for Michael will be 4-2. 
It's a very clever shot. Yeah, this uh, this is trouble. <laughs> he knows it. Foul enemies. Michael the four. Don't go too far away. Well, Holt thinks he can put him in more trouble. If you're just tuning in, the table's not sloping. It's just that <laughs> the black went there early on and reds have gathered round it. Remember the story with Joe Johnson when he went on the QE2, <laughs> went into port, took on ballast, and the table, all the balls ran to one side of the table. Couldn't play the exhibition. Black is much closer to the pocket now, and he needs a nudge. Well, just running to the red tier. Dead weight. Oh, that's a good shot. I suppose the black doesn't feel left out, David, with all those reds around it. I'm just wondering, uh, at what point does the referee step in here? To, how long can he let, allow this to go on? I think I think he will let it go on, especially with the black being so close. But now we've got a red out. The black being so close to the edge, there's going to come a point where mm. one player will knock it in. So I, I think at this stage, I think he will let it run. Especially if a player gets distance between them, like Michael has done there. Now then, that's a very good shot. I know what you're saying, though. There were times before where referees have stepped in earlier than this. We're actually seeing some very good snooker from these two to, to not have knocked the black in because it's very close to the edge of the pocket. Needs great touch. <coughs> well, trouble for Karen here. If you just drop onto these reds, you might leave the red on the left-hand side. It's a very clever shot for Michael. I'm not quite sure whether he went for the pot there, but as it's turned out, it's better for him. Now, what's he doing here? If this is a thin edge, this could be dangerous. This is dangerous. Ooh. Foul enemies. Michael at four. Well, that will go back. It's in. It's in. Well, as Mike Michael said, it was, uh, I suppose, inevitable eventually it would go in. Now, is there a, some sort of plant there? Yeah, he's looking for the thinnest of edges. There is a plant, Dave. I think it's the reds that are on the top cushion. But can Michael, look at that, nearly 30 <laughs> minutes this frame already. What have we got? About 10 or 11 reds left. <laughs> There's a plant, but if he's coming from the left-hand side of the table, no problem. But... I'm looking at the three reds that are right on the top cushion, but he can see the extreme one, Michael. There's nothing there from the right-hand side. He must play the ones that are near the top cushion. But at least the frame has opened up. 
I think you can see enough of that red that's near the top cushion to play the plant. It's just over quarter ball. Well, he's thinking of hitting one a little bit fuller than that, <laughs> making it into a four ball plant. Stand by your beds. <laughs> yeah, what? great shot. That red needs to bounce out. And now all of a sudden this becomes a match winning opportunity. Yeah, well, he was already 42 nil up before that. Needs one more frame to reach his first ever major semi final. Well, hit this with some pace and try and scatter these reds. And take them away from that corner pocket if he can't get back for the pink or the black. Well, he's playing the other one, actually. I thought the other one potted, but obviously not. I was thinking the one above that. So those reds near the corner pocket still need some attention. Not sure there was anything that goes there, actually, in plants and what have you. At some stage, you might have to get into them. <laughs> yes, there's nothing there. Wow, well, what has he seen? What has he seen down there that we haven't? <coughs> Three ball plant, perhaps. He's looking at those two reds that are the nearest to the right hand cushion, but it has to be made. This is missable. Well played. Mm. That's okay. Uh, it's looking good now. <laughs> Absolutely. That was a very clever shot. Chose to try and get them open early. Yes, his application in this match has been excellent. He's attacked, but also that whole tactical exchange was very focused throughout. And now he's in a great position to win it. Yeah, that was a very clever shot there. Three ball plant had to be made. Mm, I think he's held the spot. That's OK. 24. So 66 nil, still eight reds on, but uh, good chance here for Michael Holt to kill it off. I think he would admit he's not always been renowned for his patience, but uh, he showed plenty in this frame. <clears throat> and that long exchange with the, the reds around the black, and he came out the winner of it. Well, it's red in the colour, and it's snooker's required. Karen Wilson has had a great tournament. This is the seventh match he's played. He played four to qualify. He's beaten Stuart Bingham and Marco Fu. He's just wondering now, though, if you will get another chance in this match. I wouldn't have thought so. Statistic. Michael's not about to give this chance up. Well, it's been a long time coming. 17 years as a pro. This black to reach his first major semi-final. Well played. 14.
41. Well, he'll be feeling so good inside. And I think in this mood, I don't think he really cares who he plays. Yeah, he won't be satisfied with a semi-final, that's for sure. He's here to win it. And uh, he's playing some good stuff right now. Not to be then for Karin Wilson, but uh, first ranking a tournament venue. He's reached the quarterfinals. It's been a good week for him. Plenty to build on for the rest of the season. Michael Holt has always had the talent. I'm not sure he's always had the self-belief, but he's played really well this week. Well, if he takes notes out of Stuart Bingham's and Mark Davis's books, he's still got a chance to make an impact on this game. He's certainly doing that this week. Straight. Don't be surprised if this goes in. He's totally relaxed now. Well, not to be, okay, but. Uh, a good 80 after that long battle with the black over the pocket. And Michael Holt, after 17 years as a professional, is through to his first major ranking event semi-final. He beats Karen Wilson 5-1.